back to another video. It is about that time again for another monthly reset. So I just wanted to take you along and show you what I do to prepare for a new month. I actually just got home from work a little bit ago. It's currently a Wednesday evening. So this video is probably gonna take place between today and tomorrow. I'm starting my monthly reset by wiping down the kitchen counters. Also, I have some updates to show you guys. We finally finished putting all of the curtains up. My husband is still working on the end caps. He's staining them to match the rods. And then once he finishes that, they will finally be completely done. I think a really big part of resetting for a new month is looking back at your progress from the previous month. So I wanted to take some time to review the goals that I had for the month of April and just see how I did with them. So for April, I actually kept my goal list pretty short. I set three goals. The first one was to go on two to three walks per week. And I can say that I have done that so far. I definitely think that that number can be bumped up a little bit, but I am proud of myself for at least going outside and getting some movement and sunlight in. The second goal I had was to schedule downtime. I definitely should have put like a rule on this one, such as I want to have downtime one time per week or twice a week or three times, but I didn't. So I think this goal was really vague and I should have made it a bit more narrow. I took a whole weekend off from editing and we actually went out on the lake. The temperature has been really warm, so that was fun. I also took an evening off for a self-care night and I actually vlogged that night if you wanna watch that video. So I definitely did take a few breaks from work, but like I said, I think I need to narrow down that goal a little bit more. And the third goal that I had was to buy jeans. I actually just placed an order for this and I picked them up next week. end of every month, I answer a few questions that are in my daily planner. Actually, technically it's a weekly planner. It really helps me reflect on my progress. It helps me reflect on the lessons that I've learned. And then it gets me thinking forward to the next month. If you haven't tried those journal prompts, I definitely recommend you doing that. It's just something that I've done every month because of the legend planner that I use and it's something that I look forward to doing every month. All right, I wanna get into the goals that I have for the month of May. This is one of my favorite parts of the video is kind of just setting my intentions and my goals for the month ahead. Let me bring you in just a tad. When it comes to setting my goals for this new month, I have decided to bring it back to the basics. I asked myself, what are things that I can start doing that will drastically improve my overall well being? And something that helped me come up with these goals is the question, and that is, if I could do anything every day that would drastically improve my life, what would those things be? So I thought about it and I came up with a few different things that I genuinely think would change and improve improve my life. These are things like getting sunlight every day, which I talked about, getting movement in and exercise every day. I know I set the goal of having two walks a week this past month, but I don't think that's enough. I think that I need more movement, but I know that it's all about baby steps and just getting myself in the rhythm of moving my body. I genuinely have not created a consistent workout routine and schedule yet, and that's definitely something I wanna work on. So another baby step that I wanna take in the month of May is to just prioritize exercise 
more. Prioritize getting outside and going on a walk and getting some sunlight in more often. Another huge thing that is so simple, but something that I've been struggling with is getting enough sleep every night. I think one of the big reasons why I don't exercise as often as I should is because I just feel so tired and sluggish and like I don't have the energy to do it. And I think a big part of that is not getting eight hours of sleep every night. I've actually been tracking my sleep with this smart ring that I'm wearing. This is actually the Ultra Human Ring Air. And that's been so, so helpful. I just started wearing it, I think like this past week. And I've been able to see how many hours of sleep I'm actually getting and the length of time that I'm in each stage of sleep. And that has genuinely been so eye-opening. I'm generally getting between like six and a half and seven and a half hours of sleep every night. But I know that that is definitely not enough for me. So sleep is going to be a huge, huge, huge priority for me this upcoming month. It's cool because now that I have the ring, it not only helps me track my sleep, but it also helps me track my movement and my recovery. No, this video is not sponsored by Ultra Human. I'm not getting paid to talk about this at all, but they did gift this ring to me and I genuinely think it's already changing my life. So I just wanted to talk about it with you guys. I actually filmed myself unboxing it. So I'm gonna insert that clip here. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just received my Ultra Human ring in the mail and I am so excited to try it on I wanted to do a little unboxing on camera they sent a little like ring sizing kit I ended up going with a size 7 for my pointer finger <laughs> fits well. It honestly fits exactly like the ring sizing kit size 7 fit. I think I need to charge it first, but I also need to download the app because there's an ultra human app that will help me pair my ring to it. This is how it charges. It's a little charging dock. So here's the little cord. I'm actually really excited to continue to use this because I feel like it's gonna help me reach my goals of getting enough sleep, of getting outside in the sunlight, of getting movement in. I can actually give an update on like my thoughts and just how I like the ring in general. Um, I'll probably do that in a couple months from now. If you're interested in that, let me know. Like I said, this video is not sponsored by them, but they did gift this ring to me. And they also gave me a code if I decided to include it in a video and I wanted to share the code with you guys. So the code is JOY10 if you want 10% off your Ultra Human in order. I will leave that link down below. And another one of the things that I came up with that I feel like would definitely change my life if I did it every day is reading the Bible. If you don't know, I am a Christian. This channel is not based on like my religion or Christianity or anything, but I do include it in my day-to-day -day life because that's just another part of who I am. But I'm definitely not consistent with reading the Bible. And when I genuinely think about doing something every day that would change my life, that is something that really, really comes to mind. And so if if I genuinely think that reading the Bible and spending time with God every day will change my life, I should start doing that. I'm trying to decide if I should set a goal for like a specific amount of times that I want to read the Bible per week. I would love for it to just be a part of my daily routine, but I also know that maybe that's unrealistic for me to just go from reading hardly ever to reading every day. So I'm going to set a goal for three to four times a week. This is the current state of my bathroom right now and I desperately need to organize it. And this is what my drawer looks like. I swear when we moved in, I had it all organized and everything, but it has very quickly gotten so out of control. We also just got this new like tray from Ross as well as this soap dispenser from Ross and the plant from Ross. I think I showed you that plant downstairs. I can't remember. Obviously we still have the Ross tag on it, but we need to take that off. We just figured adding something like this to our bathroom would make it look a little bit more organized and put together. I'm trying to decide if I should keep out like my retainers and face wash and glasses case on the counter or if I should somehow find a spot for them in the drawer. But like I said, this drawer is total chaos and I definitely need to organize this. I'm I'm gonna start by just taking literally every single thing out of the drawer and then try and go from there. Also, I know this monthly reset is a little bit different. Typically I film an entire like monthly reset all in one day, but this time I decided to kind of break it up between a few different days because I have work and really the only time I have to film and do a monthly reset is in the evenings. But I think moving forward, I'm just gonna save my monthly resets for one day again because I can tell that trying to film on a weeknight, I have like no energy and I definitely feel so tired. 
Oh my gosh, I remember I bought this bath bomb and I haven't used it yet, so I definitely need to use this soon. One of the things I miss so much about our last house is that we had such a beautiful bathtub. I love this house so much, but this house does not come with a bathtub in our bathroom, and that's something that I really miss. We do have a bathtub in the guest bathroom, but it's really, really small, and I think I was just so spoiled at the last house. I literally have an empty box from when we bought our tongue scrapers and I don't really think there's a purpose to me keeping this. So I'm gonna throw this away. I honestly don't even remember how old these makeup products are. So I'm trying to decide if I should keep them or not. Also, in case you were curious, this was the electric toothbrush that I bought from Amazon. It was literally only like $15. I'll try and find it and link it down below, but now that I've had an electric toothbrush, I honestly don't ever wanna go back to the manual. But at the same time, I would love to invest in like a higher quality electric toothbrush one day, one where the bristles actually spin, but this just vibrates. And instead of keeping the box, I'm just gonna take out all of the little extra heads that it comes with and store those separately to save a little bit of space. I tried this and it didn't work, but I forgot to return it within the return window. So I'm just gonna keep it and maybe try again or give it away to someone. Actually, I'm gonna put this in the guest bathroom because that's the only place that we have a bathtub. So there's really no point for me to keep it in this bathroom. I'm also gonna put this extra glasses case and a little cloth for my glasses in my car because I found that sometimes when I'm in my car, I randomly need an eyeglasses case. So it would be nice to have one in there. Okay, so I know it kind of looks a little bit chaotic still, but in my opinion, it's a lot more organized and I'm very happy with it. Friday morning and I get to work from home today so your girl is staying in her PJs and having no makeup on. I woke up a little bit before I needed to start work so that I can have a peaceful and relaxing morning. I think throughout this whole monthly reset I've kind of learned that not every monthly reset needs to look the same. It doesn't always have to be like a 12-step process that takes place all in one day because I'm a busy gal and I work Monday through Friday. I also have editing to do on the side so this was kind of a nice break from my normal monthly reset because I broke it up between a few days. I still have a few more things I need to do today besides working and then editing. I really want to do some laundry and wash our sheets, but I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful for you and I hope I see you in the next video. Peace.